Hi guys, uh, our third chapter, Financial Performance Analysis. So let's start with the revision of Financial Performance Analysis uh, process. It's a process identifying financial strength and weaknesses. That's a relationship between financial strength and weaknesses. Financial statement, <coughs> financial statements are balance sheet and PNR as we know. There are short term and long term for forecasting and growth of financial performance analysis that's our topic the analysis is to resolve and separate things elements components and parts financial statement analysis on what on financial statements evaluating relationship evaluating what relationship between components parts of financial statement to obtain a better understanding of firms position and performance position is nothing but balance sheet assets and liability position and performance is a profit and loss that's PNL statement analysis undertaken by the management of firm or by parties outside the firm namely owners creditors investor that's the stakeholders who are interested in the entity the important questions uh, point of what is the financial position of firm at a given point of time how is the financial performance of the firm over a given period of time Financial analysis use a financial statement like balance sheet, PL, cash flow statements. Balance sheet total asset must be equal to total liabilities that plus owner's equity. Capital projects on the discounting factor basis we can derive from NPV, PI, and RR basis. That's come under capital budgeting. Now the areas of financial performance analysis. Analysis can be done on the financial statement activity profitability working capital significance of financial performance analysis is a trade creditors bound holders investors management types of financial performance analysis financial analysis can be divided into two material use modus operandi material use can be divided into two external analysis internal analysis external analysis is those outside who have no access to internal records Internal analysis by those who are executives and employees of organization or by officers appropriate by appointed by government or court. Modus operandi horizontal analysis, vertical analysis. Horizontal analysis nothing but financial statement number of years are reviewed and analyzed. That is dynamic analysis based on data from various years. Vertical analysis is quantitative relationship of various items of financial statement. A particular on a particular date it's a status static analysis techniques tools of financial performance analysis are accounting techniques first ratio analysis in which we calculate liquidity ratio leverage ratio profitability ratio activity ratio there are various ratios this is an important topic uh, from theory as well as practical point of view now Second is the common size financial analysis. This is also important, also known as, as component percentage statement or vertical statement. Trend analysis, that is change in an item or group of items over a period of time and helps to draw the conclusion regarding the change in data. <coughs> common size financial statement are nothing but common size ratio is equal to in item of interest by reference item for example if a common size ratio for inventory that means inventory the item type is the reference uh, item type in, uh, sorry inventory is the item of interest and reference item is the total asset because inventory is assets to the company so reference item is total asset common size divided into two income statement items and the balance sheet items if it is income statement item expenses as percent of total revenue to be taken balance sheet item expenses as a percent of total assets to be taken there are examples given in textbook page number 10 and 11 please go through it common size financial statement tends to have less variations than the absolute value themselves and trends in the ratio can reveal important changes in the business historical comparison can be made in a time series analysis to identify such trends can also be used to compare firm from other firms, multiple company at the same time, different sizes, compared with best benchmarking. Limitations are different AP may be used by different firm, different accounting policies may be used by different firm within same firm at different point of time. Should be adjustment should be made 
First are differences. Different firms may use different accounting calendars, so the accounting periods may not be uh, directly comparable. So our next next topic is supply chain management. Uh, till then, study smart and best of luck for your upcoming examination. Thank you.